Hey, how's it going everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, February 1st, 2021. We kick off the new month and we're going to get to a free play in college baskets in just a moment. Been a tremendous month of January. College football kicked things off. We won all but one bowl game. Uh, we won the national championship with Alabama. NFL playoffs, we hit the eight-star play to complete the 4-0 season with eight-star plays. College basketball has just torn it up this year. Uh, after last night's win with Nevada over UNLV, 89-60 to as a single-digit favorite, we are now up over $7,100 on the season in college baskets for $100 per unit betters. The seven-star plays in college, 86% against the spread so far this season. Uh, we've got a four-star play I do on uh, Monday Slate. It's available on my homepage at DocSports.com on Monday. Uh, but the star of the show for me is my second seven-star play of this NBA season. We won the first. I mean, it was almost a wire-to-wire -wire blowout. Golden State over the T-Wolves not too long ago by a 130 to 108 margin. I believe we've got another wide spread, spread covering margin and win uh, by the team we're on on Monday. Again, a seven-star play it's backed by a 26 and 9 winning spot uh, that I talked about in my analysis. So you can check it all out. But four star in college baskets. We just swept the weekend. Free and premium plays. A perfect 5 and 0, 100%. We hit the seven star on Saturday. Let's keep it going on Monday. Four star college baskets. Seven star NBA star of the show. We've also got a five star play in Monday's NHL. Hey, I also wanted to thank before I forget uh, to say thanks. To those of you who jumped on board for the PGA this weekend, we cashed two out of three matchups, including the final round matchup with uh, Norlander over Malnati. Nice winner there. So 34 and 23 is that PGA run up almost $3,000 for $100 per unit betters. Oh, also wanted to mention real quick, if you have yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, then you can use that on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the DocSports.com roster. One final note, Thursday, this Thursday, all of us at DocSports release our Super Bowl packages. Some guys will have sides and totals and props. I'll have at least a side and props, maybe the total in there too. I'll, also, I'll fill you in on the details on Thursday morning's video so you'll know. But I also wanted to mention that on Tuesday afternoon, gonna sit down and talk a whole lot of Super Bowl props with Rafael Esparza, and that video will be available by Tuesday night. So a good five days to be able to watch that and check it out when Rafael and I talk on Tuesday about Super Bowl props. All right, let's get to the free play for Tuesday. For Monday, how about we'll do Monday? Uh, it is Duke at Miami, Florida. Uh, the Duke Blue Devils, listen, they're only 7-5 and five on the season. I get it. They look like they're coming around. Uh, first of all, a team that's 7-5 and five yet is top 30 in offensive adjusted efficiency and top 40 in defensive adjusted efficiency uh, should be winning a few more games than just 7 out of 12, and I think this team's going to start coming around. They lost three games from January 12th through the 23rd. It was against Vatek, Pitt, and Louisville. And all three of those games were single-digit losses. All three of those games could have seen Duke win with just a few more plays going their way. Last two games, though, I think this team's coming around. Uh, they knocked off Georgia Tech, and then they whipped Clemson by 26. And I, I think Miami's just catching them at the wrong time. I think Duke's finally starting to get it together at both ends of the floor and, uh, and, and Miami's just in the wrong place at the wrong time. If you look at the metrics, as I mentioned, what they've done on offense and defense, it's been great. They're also outstanding uh, with offensive rebound percentage and they do well on the defensive glass. They should get second putbacks, third putbacks, that kind of stuff when needed against this Miami Hurricanes team. And also wanted to mention about Miami, this is maybe overall the worst Power 5, so-called Power 5 conference basketball basketball team on the deep perimeter when you include both ends of the floor. They are 323rd shooting the three-pointer, hitting less than 29% of their threes. They are 306th defending the three-pointer. They give up almost 38% per game uh, as far as the three-point line is concerned to their opponents. Just a mess across the board on the offensive end. They can't shoot free throws. Uh, the steal percentage on the offensive end is terrible, 314th, and I think they're in a bad spot here. They've lost four straight games and five of the last six, and in those four straight losses, they failed to reach 60 points. Tough spot for Miami. We are going to recommend a play on Duke minus the points. Looking at my books right now, uh, anywhere from 10 and a half to 11, the Blue Devils favored in this one. All right, again, don't forget seven-star play in the NBA star, the show for me on Monday. I also have a four-star play in college baskets, five-star play 
in the NHL. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. A lot of Super Bowl talk coming over the next few days. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.